to ask a few questions, just answer us honestly, or not as honestly as you yeah. like. <laughs> um, can you tell us a little bit your problem and why you chose to come to physiotherapy? So, last June I developed uh, Guillain Barry syndrome, which is an auto immune condition and it affects your nerves and it's, it takes the lining away so that they can't communicate and you then have to wait a long time for the nerves to heal because they heal very slowly so it causes numbness in and it can cause paralysis and weakness uh, and fatigue as well so i was in hospital for two months came out in august and then had to wait a long time to see physiotherapists in the NHS and was getting worried that I was losing what, what little I'd gained in rehab I was slowly losing and not able to do an awful lot so I decided to take maths into my own hand and googled <laughs> <laughs> went on to google maths to see what physiotherapy was around in the area and then just phoned up and said because I wasn't sure if I was anyone would take me on or whether it was not something that it would be dealt with mm -hmm. by a sort of private physio mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they phoned me back and said yes we'll come and see you which was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was you started off with? So when you first called us what were you kind of suffering with symptom wise if you don't mind? Um, so I had um, no feeling up to my knees, I had numbness up, up to my knees and from my elbows and that down to my hands were numb. So um, gripping things was very difficult. I could walk, but it was very limited, uh, partly just to, to do with stamina as well. So I got out of breath very quickly and then couldn't walk mm -hmm. more than a few yards before I needed to stop and rest. Mm -hmm. And I had no confidence at all because I'd fallen over at home. Hadn't particularly injured myself, but it had knocked my confidence completely about using a stick so I was back to all using a zimmer fan. And what did the first physiotherapy sessions look like for you? What was it? Um, so I, it was to be an assessment and that which I, I you know so it's kind of assessing what, where I was and I guess then whether that they could help me or not mm -hmm. <laughs> whether it was something that they were going to be able to 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 do with me whether we could work with to get me back to where I wanted to be, which was back to work, walking and normal again. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. And how did you find the home visits that us coming to your home and doing that part? I think it was good because the second visit was a home visit and that was really good for confidence because we walked mm -hmm. to where I would get a taxi from and kind of worked out rest pit, <laughs> rest stations where I could prop myself up, take a few breaths mm -hmm. before I needed to walk the next stage yeah. <laughs> and so it was really helpful in going yeah it's okay I can do this I just need to allow myself plenty of time yeah. and how long have it been since you kind of left your sort of flat since before that time um it's been a couple of weeks I'd only left with with people so I've never gone anywhere on my own so mm -hmm. this was going to be the first time I've actually left the flat on my own which was a little bit daunting yeah, yeah. um but otherwise I've been family or yeah family and friends have sort of been taking me out a couple of times but I haven't gone out that much yeah. um, and so I was stuck in the flat really. Yeah. <laughs> and how did it feel when you get in the taxi here to come for the first time? I was, I was quite nervous about it yeah. because I wasn't sure if I could do it mm -hmm. <laughs> and so and you know it took a lot of energy and then I was thinking oh you've got the energy off before I've actually had a physio session <laughs> but it felt really good to get out of the house mm -hmm. and actually see other people and you know not stare at my four walls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and did you find that Half take easier the more you came. Yes, definitely. I, I got more confidence and I got stronger because, in effect, coming to physio was part of the physio in the sense that yeah. you know I had to get out my flat, get down, get to the taxi, mm -hmm. get out the taxi, get in <laughs> into the clinic, and so that was kind of an extension of the physio, really. Yeah, definitely. So how was your physio? Because you did a couple of different slots. And then now you're on membership. So yeah. in the initial stage, how was physio and how's that kind of transition? Gone? Yeah. So I think so initially I was coming three times a week because I think I needed that intensive uh, input. Partly 
age because of my physical sort of disability, but I think mentally I needed mm -hmm. it as well. Um, I needed that kind of regulation and confidence yeah, yeah. because I was really struggling. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we sort of slightly, as I got stronger and as I got more able to do stuff, we kind of reduced the frequency down to twice a week and mm -hmm. then down to once a week, which was good because it kind of meant that it was progress and I didn't need to come that often because I was doing more outside yeah, the video sessions. And what could you do now compared to when I first met you? <laughs> yeah, probably everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm back at work full time. I uh, don't. I used. I was using taxis to get to the station, etc., which I don't do now. So now I use public transport and a walk um, to the train station and, and to work. So I'm kind of back to my normal self. I still have some restrictions around fatigue, that's still mm -hmm. definitely an ongoing issue, mm -hmm. but I have to just work with it and I'm kind of now learning to uh, stop when I need to stop. That's good, that's good to hear that. <laughs> um, how the services you've got from the reception team, are they being supportive in your journey, are they contributing with that? Yeah, they're really supportive and always cheerful and friendly and kind of kind of boosted me because I go, look what you can do now to what you could do <laughs> when you yeah. first came. Um, so, you know, because sometimes you kind of, you can see the bigger moves, but sometimes you don't notice the more subtle changes. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know, like, Dawn said about your facial features and yeah. stuff like that, and you're like, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> um, was you sceptical about coming to physio at first? No, I definitely wasn't. I, I kind of felt that once I'd, I'd been accepted in the sense that they said, yes, if we can do something, then I was very positive that I would achieve what I needed to achieve. Yeah, amazing. Did you feel the benefit straight away, or did it take a few visits, kind of, you noticed things? I think it took a few visits, mm -hmm. because yeah. I definitely, like, A, because the nerves weren't doing very much, and my strength, you know, getting your strength back takes time takes a long time yeah yeah especially if i'm in a good condition yeah probably even more so yeah yeah, definitely yeah so it did take a while but that didn't mean i was disheartened because i knew that it would take time yeah. and i knew that you know that i would have to just battle through a bit mm -hmm. in the beginning it was very much a battle but that it was going to i was going to achieve what i wanted to achieve so, do you feel like physio is something you can just get once and you're okay, or is it a continuous investment in yourself? I think it's continuous because things change, and, mm -hmm. and what my goal was when I, well, my, my main goal was to get back to work, but that was kind of in the distance, and when we kind of got smaller goals in between, and once you hit one goal, you then set the next goal. Mm -hmm. So, I think it is kind of continuous. And if you don't mind sharing, what's your kind of goal now to back to work? You're more functional. What sort of things have you find your goal to now? I think it's the fine tuning. So I've got, still got problems with my feet, mm -hmm. and that then impacts how far I can walk. Um, so though I can walk a reasonable distance, I can't walk as much as I could do before. Definitely not. So I think kind of it's much more fine the tuning rather than big big goals. It's much more the sort of trying to get my feet to place my feet in the correct way. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Is it something you'll continue to do throughout your kind of lifetime? Is that visit physio or do you home exercises? Yeah, I think you? so. And, and I'm someone that probably needs to visit somewhere to kind of get that, keep keep on that motivation going. I'm mm -hmm. not, not, not very good at doing it with that. If I know I've got to do something and I know I'm going to see someone to check that I've done it, then, then I'm much better at doing it that way. I'm not very good if I'm left in the room like this. <laughs> um, obviously, you've got given the home exercise program here and some exercises. Did they differ to what you were given, maybe at the community or what hospital gave you? Before? Yeah, well, I think the community gave me a sheet of paper with exercises on, which I kind of looked at and went, okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with those, and a lot of them I didn't feel safe to do uh, or able to do. Mm -hmm. um, whereas I think with the app, because you can do the little, you have the, like the little videos. So yeah. if you're not sure that you're doing it correctly, at least you can see. Whereas a piece of paper, yeah. with even if it's got pictures, it doesn't really tell you mm -hmm. how to do something properly, mm -hmm. and where you know whether you're you're actually you know 
following the instructions correctly. 100, but yeah, I was going to say, I feel like me personally, written instructions can be interpreted in so many ways, yeah. versus like, even yeah. though verbal is much better. Yeah, anyway. yeah. So, no, I, I'm much more sort of a visual person. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and also you can see the width of where you're supposed to put your feet and what you're supposed to do with them, whereas, you know, when they, I, I don't, don't do well on written. <laughs> How do you describe your overall experience from coming here? Um, really positive. I think it's been really positive. And everyone kind of helped that, I think, as well. Amazing. What's the one thing you like better and enjoy about coming to us? I think just the fact that now I feel like I've got a relationship and that, you know, everyone kind of know people and, you know, it's 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 friendly, you know, it's always, you know, it's always someone sort of greeting you with a smile and, nice. yeah. Um, if you were going to recommend us to someone or something, would you want? And two, what would you say? Yes, I would recommend and I have done. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would say yes, I mean, you know, the thing is, you it's a, it's a personal relationship as well and I think mm -hmm. who you gel with and who you don't gel with is difficult, but I would definitely say you should go yeah. and then see what whether there's something someone mm -hmm. could do because, it, you know, sometimes we think, oh, well, they can't do anything, but actually you don't know that and there are different ways of doing different types of physio and different things that you can do. We've probably done a range of things from basic exercises to looking at activities and working out how to do that when I couldn't do it at all yeah, and yeah. finding ways to do it that made that way easier. So are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. That's the end of that one. So thank you. Is there anything you say now that you're not sure about or want to say it out? No, I don't think so. You don't? Yeah, cool.